Want to create your own stylish jewelry? Today we're going to show you how to make a pretty charm bracelet and pendant necklace with the Pottery Cool Jazzy Jewelry Kit. You're only going to need one kit to create and design these pieces. And it's so simple. No pottery wheel needed. Now that's cool. I'm going to show you how to make a pretty charm bracelet and trendy pendant necklace with the Pottery Jazzy Jewelry Kit. The Jazzy Jewelry Kit comes with everything you need to make 10 clay designs. No pottery wheel is needed. How cool is that? First, let's look at what you get in the kit. One clay disc, six cookie cutters to shape your jewelry, one letter stamp, 10 sets of bracelet and necklace toggle clasps, 20 pendant hooks, five yards of cord, three colors of metallic paint, one paintbrush, and the instruction guide. For this project, you're going to need the clay disc, cookie cutters, and letter stamp. You will also need a pendant hook, toggle clasp, and stick toggle. Let's start by choosing a pendant shape. Pick a shape that you like and press the cutter firmly through the clay. To remove the shape, gently separate the cutter from the clay with your fingers. Don't worry if the edges aren't smooth. You can use some water to smooth the edges like this. Next, let's personalize your pendant using the letter stamp. Some of the letters will look backwards. To help pick out the letter you want, look for the underline to make sure it's the right one. Position your letter and press the stamp into the clay shape. If you make a mistake, don't worry, it's really easy to fix. You can use the back of a spoon to smooth out the surface and try again. To finish off your pendant's design, you can use extra bits of clay or household items to give your pendant that special touch. I'm using a plastic fork to outline the edges of the star. There's one last step before letting the pendant dry. Push a pendant hook through the top of your shape, leaving room for the necklace cord. Let your pendant dry for 8 to 12 hours or overnight. And when it's fully dry, choose a fun pink color. Next, measure and cut 18 inches of cord and thread it through a pendant hook. Double knot one end of the cord to a toggle clasp and the other end to a stick toggle. Trim off any excess cord and now you're ready to wear your cute new necklace. How cool is that? For this bracelet, you're going to need the clay disc, letter stamp, and any small tools you can find to carve into the charms. First, decide how many charms you want. I'm going to create a bracelet with seven charms. Bracelets with four to seven charms look best. To form your charm, pull off small pieces of the clay and roll them into a ball. Flatten the surface of each charm by pressing down lightly with your thumb. Roll out the shape slightly if needed. Customize them by using the letter stamp or extra bits of clay. Objects like toothpicks also help create fun patterns on the clay. If you want to change any of your designs, it's really easy to fix. Just re-roll the ball of clay to start over. Once you're happy with the charms, push a pendant hook halfway through each. Make sure to leave enough space under the hooks for the bracelet cord. Let your charms dry for 8 to 12 hours or overnight. Once they're dry, paint them with the metallic paints for a stylish finish. Pro tip, paint the embossed part of your charms first before painting the rest. Measure and cut 18 inches of cord. Find the center and tie on the first charm loosely, like I've done. Tie on the rest of the charms and leave a little space between each. To make sure your bracelet is long enough, lay it over your wrist. The length is perfect. Double knot a clasp at one end of the bracelet and stick toggle at the other. Trim any excess cord and now you're ready to show off your trendy bracelet. How cool is that? Thanks so much for watching. I hope my tips and tricks were helpful. Make sure to check out my other videos and comment with your own tips and tricks. Now that's cool.